Okay, this is going to be a quick video, but I sort of discovered something interesting. People were talking about this, how someone went to Nintendo History Museum thing in Japan, and they kind of unplug the Super Famicom controller, and you can hear disconnect USB sounds for from a Windows PC. So they're pretty much 100% positive it was a Windows PC, in emulation in ROMs. And the reason why that makes people upset so much, if, aside from all the lawsuits, like Nintendo's done tons and tons of threatening lawsuits to people who develop emulation software and people who distribute ROMs, but there's an interesting uh, GDC talk from 2016 that points out the pure hypocrisy where a guy talks about how Nintendo downloaded ROMs from the internet and then put them on the Wii Virtual Console and then sold them back to the consumer, meaning, if anything, they've only directly profited from emulation. Emulation is software that makes a computer act like a different computer. That's it. It's a tool. And it's a great one for many uses. Emulation is not illegal. It's not threatening. It's not unprofessional. It's not lazy. It's not the same thing as software piracy. It's not free. No emulator has ever been ruled illegal in a court of law. You know, notice this last question where how come Nintendo doesn't take a step toward legitimizing emulators? Uh, that's like asking why Nintendo doesn't legitimize piracy. It doesn't make any business sense. Except they actually have legitimized emulators by selling you emulators. The, the virtual console is nothing but emulations of Nintendo games. Uh, and in fact, if you, uh, if you were to download Super Mario Brothers uh, on, the, on the Wii virtual console, uh, so on the left there is uh, a, a, a ROM that I downloaded from a ROM site of Super Mario Brothers. It's the same file has been there since, it's got a timestamp on it of like 1996. On the right is uh, Nintendo's virtual console version of Super Mario Brothers. I want you to pay particular attention to the, the hex values that I've highlighted here. Uh, that is what's called an INES header. An INES header is a header format developed by amateur software emulators in the late 90s. What's that doing in a Nintendo product? Uh, I would posit that Nintendo downloaded Super Mario Brothers from the internet <laughs> and sold it back to you. Like, not only could no one prove that there's anything wrong with emulation, like, Nintendo is pirating its own ROMs and selling it to you. And yet the lawsuits are on the basis that these people doing emulation and distributing ROMs are somehow creating a financial loss on Nintendo. When the only evidence we've seen is that Nintendo seems to profit from this software getting freely distributed the way it is. These old games getting freely distributed and archived the way they are.